I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Like the ones I used to know Where those streets are... A youth summit planning meeting today right after school in the media center. There will be refreshments and you can get community service hours just for attending the meeting. Welcome back, Brahmins. You have two more Mondays. Today, next Monday, and then we'll think about giving you some time off. So we're going to make this week count. Your Brahmin way focus this week is dependability. Here's a quote for you. The greatest ability is dependability. Mm -hmm. Think about that, the promises and the commitments that you made to others. And what about those to yourselves? How about that commitment to graduate? How are you taking steps every single day to work towards fulfilling those commitments and those promises, including those to yourselves? Great thoughts for this week. Oh yeah. Oh, I can hassle some seniors, I guess. Um, you don't forget cap and gown orders. We've had an extension from Jostens, so please take care of that before you leave for break. Get that cap and gown ordered so your parents don't have to pay an additional $15 in January, or you don't have to pay an additional $15 either way. Um, get that taken care of. Dual enrollment students, um, I know your classes are wrapping up for this semester, and I've signed lots of forms for you to take classes for next semester. Friday the 13th, yes, there is a Friday the 13th this week, is our priority deadline for dual enrollment. That means you need to have your paperwork in and the second part, your survey completed. So if you are taking dual enrollment in the spring, check your river mail if you've done your form already. You should be able to go in, do your survey and get that done. That seals your place in the class, saves your seat so that you are fully registered. So please take care of that this week. Um, IRSC is asking that you be prompt in that and um, your guidance counselors are, I know, processing your paperwork quickly. So please take care of that this week. All right, I think we might have mentioned this last week, but girls soccer uh, won against DeSoto 4-2. to Did we mention that? No, that was Friday's game. Friday Friday's game, 4-2. to two. So the varsity won 4-2. to two. Great Yay. job, girls. You're doing really well this season. Uh, also, uh, tonight on tonight's schedule, girls basketball, West... Uh, versus Westwood here at home at 5.30. And then also, uh, I believe there was a Golden Corral booster tonight, right? Golden Corral fundraiser for the band? For the band. Is that yeah. tonight at 5 o'clock so. to 8 o'clock? So if you're interested in going out and supporting the band uh, down at Golden Corral tonight, celebrity server from 5 to 8. We have even more shout outs. Our Model UN group went over to the West Coast last week and they did so well. It was the very first competition first time going to any type of competition like that and they did so well um, we had some of the delegates almost to get the the top prize there almost win um, i'm not using the right terminology i promise i will get better but for your first showing at a huge competition like that we were incredibly proud i saw some great pictures and miss box has already been bragging on you they're heading to their next competition in february and i know they're going to come home with um, some wins there. So also our boys basketball had their first home game last Friday and they whipped Westwood. It was supposed to be a close game and not even close. JV won their game. That was a fantastic nail biter. And then moving on into that varsity game, we are so incredibly proud of you boys. That program has come a long way. Also, our um, wrestling program, they got second place in a huge tournament up at Sebastian River. So congratulations to our basketball and wrestling. Special shout out to Travis McKenna, who went undefeated for um, Saturday all day. He won his matches. So Brahmins are bringing home those success stories 
every time they go out, we want to hear that. And remember, a success story is that you're better than you were the last time you um, came out. So that's what we're looking forward as we move forward. Be great. And be in Brahmins. All day.